I'm here, another day in the gym uh, with Freddie, um, sparring today. How, uh, how do you feel it went? Yeah, sparring went really well, you know, we had um, we had about eight rounds of sparring today with two fighters who are both, you know, prospects and coming up fighters. Uh, you've got Rashad and you've got another kid uh, who's from Ghana. They're both unbeaten records. Um, one's had like 18 fights and 17 knockouts and, and you know, done really well against him. Freddie was impressed and the other kids had 15 and won 15. Oh, I think he's, you know, he's, I think he's only lost one. So, you know, the sparring's getting better and better. You know, I'm, I did eight today. I'm doing 10 on Saturday. I'm doing another eight on Friday or something, you know, so I'm sparring a, a lot, you know, in this camp. The sparring here is totally different because you've got, you've got guys who want to prove something to you. You know, I'm a new guy here. They want to prove that, look, we don't care who Amir Khan is. We want to show to Freddie that we are better fighters. Uh, we want to, there's so many people watching. There must have been about 60 guys watching the spar. So, you know, they want to prove to everyone how good they are. And sparring's tough here, you know, it's never easy. It's never ever easy, it's so hard. You have to push it, you know what happens is there's three different sparring partners. I'm always in the ring. Uh, I do three with one guy, then he steps out, then another guy comes in, I do four with him, he steps out, then I do another two with someone else. So they always come in fresh. Um, and we only have like 25 seconds break in between each round. Uh, and we fire for three minutes. So, you know, if you can do that here, when your body's tired even before sparring, then when it gets down to the fight, you're gonna be nice and fresh and strong and sharp, aren't you? It's good to have family here. You know, my dad's, um, he went to England to see my uh, young brother Haroon fight in the national championships and he just won the national title and then, you know, watching him fight and then he, he, he flew over here again. The camp is going really well. There's two more weeks here, hopefully. Uh, the fitness will even get it better. His timing will be perfect, hopefully, by the time we get away from here in two weeks' time. Um, and the last uh, couple of weeks back in England, I'm just sharpening then. Um, but the camp's gone really, really well. And I mean, I thought, you know, he handled both guys really well. One guy, he fights at 147 pounds, and the other guy fights at 140 pounds, you know. So the two different guys came in, and uh, they did put a bit of pressure on Amir, and he handled it really well. I do spend a whole camp here uh, with Amir when I'm easy and I'm here normally. I mean, the only reason I went back was obviously was because uh, uh, young Haruno, he was, he was in the junior ABAs and uh, he was in the final, so I went back to just give him a bit of sport. Uh, but normally, yes, I'm here for the whole of the camp, but it's work here, you know. Um, we're here, uh, Amir is preparing and uh, that's what it's all about. Every morning uh, before sparring and before training here at one o'clock in the afternoon, say like at five o'clock in the morning, we're going for a jog or sometimes we do sprints, swimming, like today we do swimming, and then we do, um, we do shuttle runs, we do all sorts of different things, you know, in the morning, which is for endurance, and then in the afternoon we do pad work, bag work, sparring, um, technique works, shadow boxing, etc. The diet at the moment is kind of cool because, you know, I'm moving up to 140, which I'm very, very close to making now, you know, I have to eat more. To be honest with you, so I keep all the you know keep all the energy up, and I'm not losing too much muscle. You know the sessions here are so hard. The wet is so hot in there as well, where you're just losing um, you know pounds and pounds of, of weight. But here, you know, I have to add like another two three meals a day onto my diet. I'm very disciplined, and where you know there's so there's McDonald's down the road. There's there's all sorts of different restaurants and takeaways and everything. But you know what? I eat at home. Uh, I eat all fresh food, you know, salads and vegetables and fish and stuff like that. You know, makes the food. Um, we've got, we've got, you know, sometimes we go to the uh, local restaurant who we've got a chef there, you know, who makes all the healthy food for us. Uh, or you know, my dad can cook now. He's learning how to cook a little bit. My my dad, my mum's taught him how to cook a few things. Um, or you know, I've got people coming uh, from England and uh, everyone has a has a try. And you know, I've got my mate Saj who tries to cook, uh, but I have to. You know, I can't really trust him when he's, when he's cooking food for me, you know, he might give me food poisoning. Every single day in the morning, he wakes up half four, five o'clock in the morning, then he's got another session at one o'clock, and then he'll do something in the evening as well. And I'm just there to keep him company, you see, because he, he just get bored otherwise. The training's gone really well. It's from the very first day, he puts 100% in every single training session. The Katanlik's got a lot of work to do on that day, and I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna destroy him from the very first round. I'm a boxer, uh, I just want to win titles, I want to fight, I want to come to LA and train. This is LA's work for me, you know, where I'm training. You know, I've never gone out and tried to be a movie star or anything. That's another wrong story. I did not say I want to be a movie star. But I've got nothing against Michael Jackson and what was in the newspaper that day, uh, I never said anything. You know, it was more of a shock to me when I, when I, when I googled 
uh, the news and everything and I seen what Amir Khan said about Michael Jackson I'm not really said anything about the guy I don't really know him you know I'm a fan of his music you know I'm not said anything and I just want to make that clear to his fans and my fans that you know Amir Khan didn't say one word about him you know I just want to say to all my fans out there um, thank you for all the support that they give me and everything and you know uh, hopefully on the 27th of June um, we're gonna bring that title home keep it at home with with me and you know defend it and you know do all the British um, public you know proud